So, let me get this out of here. We have a show to run, don't we? Imagine that. Imagine that. Yeah. So today, we're having coconut shrimp. We get to play with coconut shrimp. Are we already talking to the audience? Yes, we are. But we haven't introduced ourselves. Well, my name is Brian. What is your name? I'm Helenka. Oh, well, <laughs> just my chef sidekick. And you're so, the chef. And I'm the chef. And wow. today, we're cooking on FrenchFoodFun.tv. And we're going to make uh, the coconut shrimp. Yeah. So it's an interesting dish. I think it's perfect for spring, well, early spring, late spring, early summer, late summer, summer. early fall, late <laughs> fall, and <clears throat> early winter, late winter. Wait a second, though. No, that makes That's sense. That's the whole year. The whole year. Well, it just depends on what you pair it with. Well, that's true. We were, make, we're making it a light dish by having it with a salad. Yeah, we're just going to have a nice salad. Yeah. And I've, as you can see here, uh, my kitchen is a mess. But it's a okay. mess of ingredients. It's good things to actually yes. come out of this, right? Now, we have to eat. eat we got to eat. We have to heat the oven. Yes, you know, to 400? We have to heat the oven to yeah, 450. 450. Oh, okay. So my little toaster oven. Yes. So we have to put this on bake. We'll put this on 450. And what ingredients do we have? All well, right. we're going to be mixing a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Yeah, these are the wonderful panko breadcrumbs. Yeah. So, uh, do you do you know much about panko? I'm well, they're Japanese. Do. They're uh, Japanese breadcrumbs, and they're used for tempura yes. coating. It's a very light coating. Yes, That's and it crisps they up very well. Up really, yes. So we're going to enjoy this. Yes. All right. So this is the half cup. We're mixing that cup. with one cup. a. Half a cup of shredded sweetened coconut. Yes, love coconut. Mm -hmm. Love coconut, so we've got that. And we're going to add a, a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, well, I'm just going to eyeball yeah, it. Yeah, and from a half the, teaspoon uh, of black pepper. From the grinder as well. And mm -hmm. we're adding a half cup of flour. Yep, and then we're going to dredge, so we're going to use the flour to yes. also dredge. And we're going to need two beaten eggs. Yeah, these are, I love these eggs. So these are. Um, organic, free-run, uh, extra-large eggs. Wow. So these are wonderful. Um, the reason why I buy these is because I eat the eggs um, on their own. Right. Not mixed, not mixed with anything but cooked. And they're very tasty. They're very tasty. I make poached oh, eggs, yes. that kind of thing, too. Okay. And then, so, of course, we need the shrimp. Yes. Now, we I have, have some these jumbo. Are, these are gorgeous. Colossal. These are colossal. These are peeled and deveined shrimp. Yes. I don't think I did a good job of... I didn't see that. Peeling it, that's okay. You didn't see that either. So these are lovely colossal mm -hmm. shrimps, so they're going to get cooked in the oven. Now, we have to start getting this going while this is starting to work. It's like right. magic. So we need to mix some things together. Yes. And it looks like it's the panko breadcrumbs along with the uh, coconut. And salt and, and salt pepper. pepper. So I'm going to, I have a, uh, this is just a, my dredging dish. I'm going to use that. I'm going to put the coconut in here. Yum. And what else do we need in that? I think it's the salt and pepper goes in this, or does it go in the flour? No, it goes in that. The salt and pepper goes, goes there. So then we'll mix it all together. Yes. So I'm just going to do a couple, a few grinds. This is freshly ground pepper, so it's even more potent. And then we'll we'll be kind to the salt because we're going to be making a very spicy dipping sauce. Yep. And we'll talk a bit more about that. We can always always add a little bit bit of salt after the fact. Yes. Right? So, but you do want to season your breadcrumbs and your coconut. So these are, oh, this looks good. Are you having a good I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Actually, I am playing, aren't I? Oh dear. And we are sure two coconuts, I tell you. I tell you, yeah. We are. So now I'm going to put the flour on a plate. So here's my flour here. Right. Okay. Now, I need to beat the two eggs, so I'm going to use one of these other bowls. I've got my fork now for the eggs, and I'm going to put the two eggs into this little bowl here. So, but first, I'm going to get this over here. We're also going to have a salad with it, so I'm going to mm -hmm. give Her Majesty here all the ingredients of what's going to go into so it. So I can stare at them. So you can, yes, give me a good stare. Smell. Mm -hmm. And this is a secret thing. She doesn't know where it is yet, so I'm going to put it over here. She's not allowed to see, even if she could. Okay. One head. The color of these yolks. It's beautiful, bright yellow. Look yes. At yes. So and that's big. That's, that's, and big, because these are extra large. So that's... The, Found something else for the salad. Okay. So that's that's the benefit of, of um, these free run organic eggs. Ah, the oven is ready. Wonderful. But I'm not. But that's okay. We can always uh, hurry up. I think there's a method to this madness. 
which is you put the shrimp in the flour first, I believe. Yes. Then the egg. Then the egg. And then the uh, the crumb mixture. Yes. Okay. So I, I do pay attention. Okay, first shrimp in flour. I'm okay, gonna put a few in here because we need to get this going. In here. And you're supposed to roll the shrimp around. Yep, rolling, 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 rolling. rolling. Shake excess off. Put shrimp into egg mixture. Then roll into coconut. I'm kind of doing it wrong here. Okay, so that goes there. I'm going to take <clears throat> my next shrimp and I'm going to put that into the egg mixture. And then I'm going to transfer that to the coconut mixture. I'm going to use my other dry hand. That's what I was doing wrong before. Uh -huh. You see? Coat this lovely in coconut. So we got that. I'm going to take my dry hand again. This is the shrimp. Transfer it here. <laughs> it's like a play by play. Now pay attention, everybody. <laughs> Please pay attention because we only do this mm, 24 times. Maybe. Okay. You know, when we came up with the theme for the show, which is we love playing with our food, I think we kind of meant it literally, like really literally. Not just to play on words, right? Because well, you know, I'm feeling really left out here. Because so you don't get to you don't get to play. Well, I'm thinking, can I at least measure out some of the salad ingredients? Sure, you can. Okay. So this looks good, and I'm trying to pack it on too. So these are our last. So it ones. gets to be really yeah. crispy. Yeah. Okay. So we do have a lot of shrimp. Do you see me complaining? Actually, you know what? She complains in every single show. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. Like, really? Seriously? I do have my uses. She does have her uses. Yes. We're still discovering what those are. Yet. So, that's one thing we like to do, too, is have fun. Have fun playing and around. And nag. Yeah, nag. Yes. Well, you are the cheap nag. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Look, last one. Now, finally, because um, I was kind of chintzy with the first one, so I'm gonna good make sure we pack it on here. Good. And then it goes in the oven. Yes. For a diminute. Aha. For ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yes. Or until it's fully cooked and crispy. Whichever comes first. Yes. Now I have to clean paws. Yes. Now I gotta clear decks here because we gotta put these things in. Oven. So we can dispose of all this shortly. All my mess making. So here we go. Look at this. Oh, they're so cute. They are. Look at these. Yes. See? This is what we're going to eat. We can't eat it now, though. They're, they're raw. Okay, so in the oven it goes. We got it on set. Um, in the toaster oven, I've got it set to 425. Right. It's on convection, so it'll add another 25 degrees to it. Right. Um, and it should cook within the 10 minutes. I'm going to put this on 10 minutes. And now we're off to the races because we're going to make a salad. Okay, so I've got the decks cleared and yes. now we're going to start on the salad. Yes. Now I have, I love this bowl. So yes. you're going to help me with this. Yes. So we have this big, beautiful bowl so you can see what's going in it. So you're going to add some greens. Bling. Bling. A few more. Yeah, a couple more. Okay. Now this is arugula and baby spinach. It's one of my favorites. We love both. We love both. Yes. So um, it's just for me and the lady here. So, yeah. but you can you can never go wrong with no, eating extra you, salad. You can actually. Have, you know what? You're going to add in now. Show everyone. These are um, matchstick um, carrots. carrots. I love these. I love these too. So you can add some of those. Yes. And then you're going to add these things here, which yes, are the sweet grape tomatoes. So she's going to add those too. Now I happen to love having lots of these carrots and I find I really appreciate the taste because of the way they're cut yeah. rather than if they were in uh, in rounds. rounds. Actually I like the rounds too. But these, these are nice. These are nice. Other, they're they much look, easier to chew. That's true. And they look better in a salad. They do because yeah. you get different, you uh, get different. textures and exactly. different uh, shapes. Now we're going to add we're gonna add in a yellow pepper. Which is good. I like yellow pepper. I'm just going to cut this up while the lady's helping me there. 
And he doesn't trust me with a knife. No, I thought about it, but... I don't know why. I, think, I don't think it would be... It wouldn't be friends anymore. No. <laughs> Shall I throw the tomato at you? Well, <laughs> are we throwing these in whole, or are we cutting them in halves? You tell me what you would like. Do you want them in half? Do you want them whole? Actually... Whole's good? Yeah, because it looks more summery, and more colorful, and more fun. Oh, good. And, and those, that's what we're trying to do, because, yes. you know, a lot of times, like, especially during the winter time, you want to find as many colorful vegetables as you can. Yes. And you serve it in a salad. And, you know, we've enjoyed quite a few salads. From, we have. From our, um, our adventures here. Yes. And who knew you could have that much fun with just a salad? Oh, I know. I know. Yes. But when yeah. you add goat cheese and oh. walnuts. And raisins. Raisins. And Cranberries I think we've had before, yes. too. Yes. Wonderful. Stuff. Twice at least, I think. Yeah. Or maybe. At least. Yeah. Try one. You can try one. Thank Did you. you? Taste a little bit on the sweet side. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And now I can go fling? No, I don't think so. She could go fling, but that would be her dinner. He'd go fling with me, too. I think so. Now, yes. we're... we're um, a lot of times we'll make our own dressing. Yes. But I wanted to. I didn't want to do that this time because you know what? A lot of times your meals, you just want to make it fast, quick, and easy. And we're making our own dipping sauce. Yeah, we haven't got to that part yet. Yeah. But um, she's you, right. We're going to make a dipping sauce. Yeah. So but you're hiding the dressing. I'm hiding the dressing now. This is well, this is new. It's a vinaigrette, and this one I thought was good for the theme of um, the, with the seafood with a nice salad. Is that uh, tangerine and lime? So it's tangerine and key lime juice together. So. I think that sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're going to serve on the salad. Okay, let's see. Hmm. It's different. Let's see. Ooh. Now, it's I'm a gonna, very delicate color. It is. Actually, it's a very nice looking color. Now, I'm going to need, I need uh, some, some, what we call it, zhuzhers. Yeah. yeah. We link stuff together. Yeah. And then we're just going to let this sit for a little bit. Yeah. Okay, well, look at this. Beautiful, colorful yes. salad. That over there away from the lady. Um, we're going to make a sauce. Traditionally, well, I shouldn't say traditionally. In the book, it actually gives you a recommendation of using a sweet chili sauce, which is what this is. But I like... Um, we like to... I like to do things differently. Yeah. So, another thing we're going to play with is ketchup and mayonnaise. Yeah. But yeah. not just any old plain ketchup. Nope, this one is the hot and spicy version, mm -hmm. which I like. And this one is uh, my typical uh, olive oil mayonnaise. Yes. I'm going to add two of a spoon and two little containers. Okay. And we're going to put, we're going to make, a, it's kind of a, like a Russian dressing. Okay. Now, if I've ever, if you've ever had Russian dressing, mm -hmm. um, it's uh, typically it's a sweet sauce. Typically. But when I was looking to see, like, how do you make this? Before. I found that some people just use mayonnaise and ketchup, and I've used it before. Right. I've used it before. But I thought, let's kick it up a bit. And I think uh, my preferred is uh, mayonnaise and chili sauce. Ah, that's a good idea. So it's going to be a combination between both of, yeah. of our ideas. So all you do is a little bit of mayonnaise, but uh, Brian and like a tablespoon, <laughs> and then a couple of well, couple we're of, sure trying. A couple of uh, rude squirts from the ketchup bottle. <laughs> Oh my god. And I'm going to make sure I'm just shake it. Yes. We're going to put a couple of. I don't know what we're going to do with this one, but we'll see. This one's good. Here you go. Oh, I love the stuff. If only they invented smell o vision. I know they keep saying that. <laughs> so we're going to add quite just a little bit of. Nice bit of that. That's probably a Brian Helenka tablespoon. Let me see. Yeah. Is. It's a generous Brian and Helenka tablespoon. Oh dear. <laughs> Which means lots. Lots. And then you're going to mix it up. But after all, it's just for dipping. It is for, and this is what you're going to dip your, your shrimp into. Yes. So, the sweetness from the, um, from the uh, coconut. Yes. You're going to have this, this spiciness from the spicy ketchup and the uh, sweet chili. Thai sauce. And the, um, what do you call it? The um, more peaceful, mellowing aspect of the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise. So, here, you get to dip your finger in that because that okay. one's yours. Oh, thank you. 
And I get to <laughs> put my finger yeah. on Yeah! Why not? We're playing with our food. My finger never tasted that good. <laughs> it's acceptable? It's fabulous. And I'm really getting the combination of the... Uh, Different flavors? Yes, but especially the spices. Okay. Oh. Mm. Much better than any plain old... Uh, now, yeah, here's another tip. Here's another tip for this. Um, the French um, dip their French fries in mayonnaise. Well, that's also Belgian. Is that Belgian too? Yes. Okay, so when I was in France, that's what we did. Yeah. So um, you can actually, because people dip their French fries in a lot of different things, yes. you could actually dip your French fries in this. And I, well, that sounds good too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because then you get the half ketchup and half mayo. Yep. My turn. Okay. Does your finger taste good mm. too? It does. Mm. Mm. Here we have, look at this. And it's wonderful to see how the... Oh, can you smell that? Yes, but I'm more interested in the way you've got the different colors on the shrimp. Yeah. Because yes. of the toasting effect. We're going to serve. We're going to serve. I'm going to give you one for now to okay. try it because I'm going to get to try one too. Yes. So I'll put it in a little And I'll bring out your plate as well. Oh, thank you. Not at all. So she gets to try this. Look at that. You would be served this in a very fine, fancy restaurant. That's all you get. And how much would I pay for that? Oh, oh at least fifty dollars. <laughs> at least. Well, I'll wait until you're. Uh... Okay, so. And I think. I'm Are you going to try it I'm with or way. without the dip? With the dip. Okay. Or we can try one end without the dip. Yeah. And then. Let's okay, see. so I'm doing the tail end without. Are you? Yes, because it's a smaller piece. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, wow. Worlds beyond what we used to eat uh, as a frozen uh, prepared. Wow. It's the coconuts, the shrimp, yes. it's everything. It's everything. It's but it's so tender. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, the chili. Yes. It really comes through. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm going to put this down. Excuse me, we we're going to have to, to go now. Yes, we really do have to go. We need to have some time with our shrimp. Yes. Well, I think I think I love this recipe. You saw how easy it was? A little bit of prep work. The oven does most of the work anyway because yeah. it's doing the cooking. But it's... And a beautiful salad on the side. Hot, fresh shrimp. Right out of the oven. Yeah. Beautifully. Yeah. Mm. Coconut, mm -hmm. sweet, chili, Thai. Chili. <laughs> tang all tumbled up. You mean the tongue? <laughs> yes. But this is a tang this as is well. The tang is all tumbled up as well. Well, thank you again for watching another episode with myself and with my wonderful, lovely sidekick, Helica. For more episodes in our blog, please visit our website and friendsfoodfun.tv. We'll see you again real soon. Take care for now. Cheers. Bye. Bye. -bye. Oh, yeah.